what up y'all okay so um so i just withdrew from my classes this semester um a little a little bummed about it but i am relieved i will say that i am relieved um so Um, so basically, okay, I don't know, I, I don't think I've told you guys, but I just bought a house and, um, a lot going on, you know, um, you know, when you're a homeowner and you have things that you, and the house that you buy is not really moving ready and you, and you kind of want your house to look how you want it to look, you know, and that's pretty much what happened with me. I had some things that I needed to fix. Plus... I was having a pest issue <laughs> when I bought the home. <clears throat> when I bought the home, um, I had it was like roaches infested. It was it was horrible, y'all. It was like really really bad. Um, but yeah. So with that being said, um, with that being said, um, had to get some stuff done. And then also do some stuff that I wanted to do for the house, you know, some extra stuff for the house. Okay. And that takes money. And, um, you know, one of my dreams is to own um, property. Um, and this is the first of many, you know, speaking that into existence. Um, definitely want to do that. Um, okay. Let me go. I guess not. Okay, cool. So, um, anyways. So, withdrew from my classes, and uh, I'll be honest, I'll be so honest, um, I have, two, I'm only do, taking two, or whatever, but I, I'm also, I work, you know, I also um, do a lot of things um, with um, some organizations as well, and, well, just one organization <clears throat> right now, and not only that, you know, certain things in my life are very important to me, like relationships, and, um, and honestly, you know, the main factor is my house and just this um, financial responsibility um, to uh, take care of it. And I, I definitely got into some debt by um, buying this home. Um, so and not only that, I already had debt that I wanted to kind of pay down. Um, so I just made the adult decision to withdraw from my class <laughs> um and it's just be on, honestly like it's easier I, like I said I feel lighter um I do feel like and I feel like it's the best decision for my life right now because you know something one thing that I do notice about myself is that I am a very unorganized person very unorganized and there are some organizational changes that, that I need to make in my life and I gotta get my life in order honestly um, because I can't the dreams that I have for my life you know and what I feel God is calling me to you know do I can't keep you know living the same way I can't keep you know doing the same thing because a lot of those things are bad habits you know what I'm saying and if I'm going to make a decision I need to go ahead and you know make the best decision that's going to help propel me into my destiny my purpose you know you guys know that I love to preach the gospel I love it and one of the things that I definitely don't want to be I don't want to be that broken preacher I don't um and I definitely don't want to be someone that is not a good steward over what God has given her and I can be honest and I can say that I have not been a good steward over what God has blessed me with so um it's just it's time for me to make some big decisions about all right you know what are you going to do because um the the career that I've been blessed with um affords me to be able to do what I need to do but I have like I said I have not been a good steward over this what God has given me and I know that um, I'm going to need to 
budget myself and just make some some better decisions you know what I'm saying just make some better decisions um, so um, and not only that you know I'm all about mental health I'm all about um, emotional health and I'm just not about that I'm not about that you know stressful life and trying to take on everything and like I do believe that there are some things that you know we can do and we can push through and get it done but I do believe that sometimes you know you have to make a decision that's going to help you in the time period that you are in right now and although I love school I really do I love my classes but right now it's best that I take care of my debt so I feel like if I keep on going the way I'm going I'm not going to be able to really uh, pay off some stuff and one of my goals in life is to be debt free you know and one of my goals is to buy another home in the near future you know um, God willing so uh, part of doing that is me taking off a whole year from school two semesters well three this fall spring summer and then I'll come I'll come back in the fall of 2019 and um, yeah hopefully by then I'll be more organized I'll be a little a little less debt free you know a little less in debt you know what I'm saying um, I have some goals of paying off some credit cards two of two credit cards I need to pay off and um, I want to have a certain amount of money in my bank account next fall you know what I'm saying and not only that have a better plan in place you know I feel like if you don't prepare then you kind of you're kind of planning to fail now granted I do know that sometimes you can't always plan everything in your life and you kind of you know um, but you can but what you can do is you can prepare there's nothing wrong with preparing you know and at least you've kind of got yourself in order you know there are other things too like I need to learn what it means to be a homeowner and everything that that, that comes with you know there are a lot like I'm thinking about getting home like I'm thinking about getting insurance uh, mortgage insurance um, you know, let me know if that's a good idea which I think it is uh, but just yeah like just really making some big girl decisions <laughs> for my life for this next year and I think that I can really uh, I can knock off some uh, some goals I can knock them off uh, I do have this other debt that I that I got when I was 21 just being stupid um, that probably will take a little longer but I at least can get some of the smaller debts paid off in this next year so I know I can do that you know so I do want to I just wanted to tell you guys talk to you about this because you know um Hey man, like I, we're human. You know, we go through things, and I want to share my 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 experience so that you know that you're not alone. And not only that, you know, let you know that hey, mistakes you make mistakes in life, but you know you can make the decision today to um, change your. Uh, you make the decision today to 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 to. to to move in a positive direction for your life, you know what I'm saying, and um, make some positive changes, you know what I'm saying, especially when you know you haven't really been living and being as disciplined as you should be, you know what I'm saying, um, and there's never a time when you can't do it now, you know, if you know that you have some decisions that you need to make that are going to help you, that you it's because of you and I'm not blaming nobody but myself it's because of me I got myself in this situation you know what I'm saying so I'm definitely going to make some decisions to help myself get out <laughs> but yeah you know um, it's okay own up to the fact that hey you know you make some poor decisions but you know what I can make a decision today that I'm not going to let my past or not even let poor judgments that I've made stop me from moving forward and I can do that you know I can start today so anyways um love you guys and I hope you guys have a good afternoon um I'm about to go home get some
rest. I gotta go to work tomorrow. So pray for me, y'all. All right, bye.